Hello my friends, Ahsoka the Geek here, and for today's review, we're going to take a look at the new McFarlane Toys, DC Multiverse, Blue Beetle Battle Mode from the new upcoming Blue Beetle movie. So here we are. Um, I got this from the McFarlane Toys online store. Uh, I think I ordered it like last week or two weeks ago, and it's already here. Holy look at that. So I expect these to start hitting shelves at other retailers i guess right now um, but yeah let's go ahead and open them up and take a look all right my friends so here is jaime reyes outside uh the packaging so first of all i'm super excited for this movie i am a blue beetle fan <coughs> excuse me i'm a blue Be beetle fan of the ted cord Be blue beetle and of course the more modern jaime reyes blue beetle and i think his suit was designed by jim lee for Infinite Crisis uh, back in the day, early early aughts. So there you go. There is the Blue Beetle. So stoked about this movie. Uh, just right off the back, the, the translation of the comic book to the movie is fantastic. All right, before we get into that, what does this guy comes with? come with? He comes with a stand, a Blue Beetle trading card. There he is. There's the info on the back. Then he comes with some fun alternate sets of hands. There's the peace sign. There is a pointy one. There is a thumbs up. And then there is just an open-handed fist. So all in all, four extra hands that he comes with. And then onto the figure itself. So this is the battle... Uh, mode version so he comes with the wings you see here and I attached them by removing this piece in the back here it comes off super easy and you're able to attach the wings that's what it looks like uh, there is another version of this figure that comes with weapons so a little bit of a, a double dip there wish it was one figure of course with everything but hey they got they got to make the money so what are you gonna do but anyways back to the figure itself this thing is Fantastic. First of all, any sort of me metallic paint finish, I am a sucker for. So look at this. Look at that. Look at the detail. Just just loving it. Loving the suit. The design is right from the comic book, but in movie form. And it's just, I think it's done really well. Oops. This thing popped up in the back. Let's reattach it real quick. There we go. So yeah, this is just a fantastic figure. You have good range of motion. Good articulation at the head, the knees, the legs. You can make some really fun Blue Beetle poses. I do wish it came with a flight stand because this is more like a flight mode for me. So, you know, that would have been cool if it came with a flight stand, but what are you going to do? But yeah, this is just a fan, fantastic figure. He looks awesome. So there he is. There's the DC Universe or DC Studios Blue Beetle. I guess this is officially part of the DCU, James Gunn's DCU. So there you go. Hopefully he'll, he survives uh, to the next series of movies. We'll see how he does. You know, we'll see how it does. But that's for the figure. I think the figure is fantastic. Beautifully painted. Look at the details on the wings. Yeah, just, just love it. And again, the metallic shiny paint job is, is beautiful. Look at the armor there. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's awesome. I think he is awesome. Um, so let's take a look and see how he looks to some other, next to some other McFarlane figures. All right, so there is the Blue Beetle next to Michael Keaton, Batman, Ezra Miller, Flash. We'll probably never see this version of this grouping in live action. But hey, these are all live action characters. So there you go. He's, he scales pretty nicely uh, with these figures. You know, Michael Keaton is a little bit taller than him. I think even Ezra's. A little bit taller than him if I stand it up correctly. But yeah, I think he scales pretty nicely. And uh, there you have it, have it, folks. Love this figure. I will, of course, be doing a lot more content on my Instagram, Ahsoka the Geek. I'll be doing some more comparisons, reels, just more content over the, the coming days. So if you want to see more, just go ahead and uh, head on over to my Instagram. But other than that, let me know what you think in the comment section below. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and uh, have a great day.